What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So I want to talk a little bit about the CPI score. Uh, CPI score was in today and it wasn't, it wasn't very good. And we're talking about 8.5% and that's year to date. Um, as far as the uh, monthly numbers, they looked a little bit better. And then when you take out food and energy, which food and energy, very, very important. But when you take those out, uh, the numbers are even uh, less. So basically looking the way this, is, this whole situation looks, it looks like inflation is, let's hope March was our peak and then we'll start going down from here. So that, that is the hope, but um, we'll have to see. We don't know yet. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens when it comes down to that. Uh, but uh, inflation is still, still an issue, obviously. Uh, people will tell you that everywhere. We're all paying more. And so let's hope that it was transitory and we're in a situation now where we're uh, coming, coming down from that. Now, I did have some people ask me or, or make a comment that gas prices are going down. And that's true. The average gas price has dropped, I think, about 23 cents or something like that. Um, and that's good. However, I do, when we're looking at gas prices, we have to understand that a lot of states, what they're doing is they're implementing this, this gasoline tax holiday. And so they're suspending the gasoline tax for a month or two months. And so of course that's gonna show in gas prices. And we'll have to wait a couple of months to see if those gas prices go back up, okay? Uh, we also have other states that are strongly considering, we actually have one state that already uh, they've already passed $500 uh, per filer, uh, and that's New Mexico. And California looks like they want to move forward with a, with a $400 per vehicle, uh, two vehicle maximum. Uh, so that's, that's something that they're looking at. We have the state of New York. Uh, they have proposals that are on the table right now, $250 per individual, per individual tax filer. So. There's a lot of stuff going on right now when it comes down to uh, trying to deal with it with the gas prices. But we still we're still in a bind. We're still looking at inflation. And all of the, the 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 high gas prices right now are not only affecting us when we go to the pump, but it's also affecting the products that we buy because the products that we buy are more expensive now because gasoline prices are, are higher. So that means that the transportation is more. It costs more to transport these goods. Uh, not to mention, in China right now, they're having an issue with, with this uh, new COVID strain. So now we're looking at a situation where our supply chain from China might uh, be affected. Or I won't say might, will be affected. And that will mean that we'll have a shortage of items to buy. And a shortage of items to buy means those uh, items are going to cost more money. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And we had a situation where we had bottlenecks at the port. You remember that, right? Right before Christmas, everyone wanted to get their, their products. And we had a shortage of products because of that. Now we're looking at more shortages because of uh, the, the situation that's going on in China. And will that situation spread? just like it spread before. Will it spread again? Will we have another COVID strain uh, that pretty much um, affects everyone uh, worldwide? We're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that. So, I mean, it's, it's just, we're still in a crazy time. And it, it's, it's interesting because I'm in Colombia right now and you don't hear too much. I watch the news, the local news here. You don't hear that much about the, the COVID uh, strain, the new COVID strain. and and it seems like Colombia is a little bit behind when it comes to that information, putting that information out, or maybe it's just the news that I'm watching. I'm just not hearing that. And here, just to let you know, I've had some people ask me two questions. How is it like was when it comes to wearing a mask and stuff like that in, in Colombia? And then the second question, is it safe in Colombia? So I'm gonna answer those two questions right now. So when it comes to uh, wearing a mask, you need to wear a mask indoors. Uh, for the most part, if you're going into like a store, a mall, you're gonna be wearing a mask. Uh, they're, they're gonna require that. Now, if you go into a restaurant, just like in the US, you go into the restaurant, you can have the mask on, but as soon as you sit down and 
you start drinking, eating, you can take the mask off. Uh, the, the nightclubs and stuff that I've been to, I haven't had to wear a mask. Uh, you saw Carnival. Um, actually, did I show footage? Yeah, I showed some footage of Carnival, or at least some of the, the big um, parties that they've had. Uh, now, if you guys didn't see those videos, those videos are on my other channel, Everything David. So you want to go over there, subscribe, hit that little bell notification on that channel. Uh, but you, yeah, you didn't have to wear a mask when you're outdoors. Uh, indoors, I haven't really been to a, a big a club or anything like that indoors, so I can't really speak to that. I won't, actually, I've been to one club indoor and we didn't have to wear a mask. So that's pretty much with the mask situation. That's how it goes in Colombia. Uh, so mainly if you're going to a mall or, or big store, stuff like that, you still need to wear a mask. Now, when it comes to safety in Colombia, and th th it's, this is the, question, the number one question that everyone asks me, either online or if I'm talking with people and I tell them I like going to Colombia, is it safe, is it safe? Now, in my opinion, Colombia is safe, okay? Now, it's just like any country. There are good parts and bad parts. Uh, any city that you go in, there are good parts and bad parts. And we just saw uh, the, the situation that, that happened in New York earlier this morning. And I mean, things happen, right? And you just need to be prepared. You need to, you need to, to watch your surroundings and, 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 and what they say in Colombia, don't give papaya, which means don't like, don't be showy, don't show all your stuff. And if you abide by that, if you're not showy, you're not showing all your stuff, in most cases, you're not going to be a victim. Uh, so it, it, it's safe here. Uh, I, I'm in a, in a town right now um, in Barranquilla and I'm in this community, very, very safe community. I mean, it's, and I can show you here, you guys have seen this before if you've been watching my channel, but it, it's, it's safe. It's nice, modern buildings. Um, you have a nice park down here and I go to that park every, every day, usually around the evening time because it gets, it gets pretty hot. Right now it's windy. It's, it's actually not too hot right now. But I'll go out there and I'll walk this, this little uh, trail here, uh, up and down the trail. And so it's safe. All right, so just to wrap this all up, uh, when it comes down to it, the CPI numbers show that, that inflation is still, is still a, a big issue. And uh, the gas prices are, we're still seeing gas prices at an all-time high. Uh, even though they've dropped a little bit, I think the, the drops that we've seen are just due to these tax holidays, these gasoline tax holidays. And as soon as those tax holidays are lifted, then I think gas prices are going to go back up in certain areas. Uh, so we'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens when it comes to that. But I know like in California, I've had friends that have, I have friends in California right now. I'm in Colombia, so I don't know exactly what's going on as far as the gas prices, but they've told me, hey, gas prices are still way over $6. So uh, that's, uh, that's a lot in California. But anyway, just wanted to put this video out. If you guys have any questions, please post them down below. If you have any questions about Columbia, like always, post it down below and I will answer it in uh, future videos. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.